Let me tell you something, man. What the hell is this? You ever notice those people that come up to you in real life, right? And they're upset. You might have saw a person you saw, used to know a while back. And certain people will come up to you and they will be upset. They'll be mad for no good reason. They're just mad. Let me tell you guys exactly why this is happening. This is happening because they're watching your life. Your haters are spying on your life, bro. Because if they weren't, they wouldn't be so oppressed and upset and angry with you when you see them in person. Now they don't say nothing, they just come off as angry and you can tell by the way they're kind of acting all shady <clears throat> that they've been watching your shit. They've been watching on social media, they've been watching you somewhere. I'm not sure where, but they've been watching and they can probably tell you're doing quite well. So when you see people like this, bro, and people's mad at you for no reason, and it's like you, you did nothing to them, they're gonna act real weird, bro, when you see them. And I don't know, what to do? What do you do? Just laugh it off, really smile, smirk. Ha ha ha, I got you. I don't know. These people are weird, bro. They just like to watch and hate all the good things that you do. Instead of them focusing on their own lives and their own mission, they would just rather watch you, bro, and be mad about it. It makes no sense, but hey, <laughs> haters are going to hate, right? That's what they say. And we know this. But yeah, man, these people are going to spy on your life. People don't come up to you and they're just mad for no reason, man. Like, it's not like they're all angry and showing it. They try to hide it. They're not acting this way. They're, you can tell they're this way. Some people will be real shady and ask you questions and you can tell they don't have good intentions. People do some strange, strange shit, bro. And this is the world we find ourselves in. When you escape the matrix, majority of people in the matrix that are gonna settle for the matrix are gonna be upset with you. You're gonna lose a lot of people. I'm going to make a video deeper into detail on that, but, you know, there's people in the Matrix right now, too, and they have every intention of getting out of there. Those are the ones that probably will not hate on you because they see what you see. Other people, they might like to get out, but they can't, and they know they never will. So all they're going to do is hate because their lives are... They're trapped and they can't do nothing about it and they don't want to do anything about it. Those who want to do something about it are those that have a legitimate shot at escaping the matrix. And when you do something special with your life and you can do well for yourself, you're going to get a lot of haters. It's just what comes with it. You will lose friends you had for 20 years. You will lose Lifelong friends, lifelong family, you'll lose a lot of people, bro. People can't keep up, people's gonna hate. They cannot get on your level, they cannot get on your vibration, your frequency, they're just gone. And there's no way other about it. There's no other way about it, I should say. It's just what's gonna happen. There's nothing we can do to stop this. 
they make these decisions and so don't we we make the decision we, we the thing is we make different decisions that's why we don't see eye to eye that's why they're gonna have a problem we don't have a problem with them you can keep living a bum life it does not matter to us it <laughs> It does not do anything to me. I'm not going to hate you for that. Why would I do that? That's just ridiculous. You can be a bum if you want to, but, you know, I have no ill will towards you. You have ill will towards me. You feel hatred towards me. You feel envy and jealousy towards me, and that's your issue. I've had friends, bro, that I know for a long time. Over 10 years. And some of these individuals got upset because of my elevation. They just know they can't do it, bro. Like, that's what it is. They just know they can't. People that respect you the whole time and now they find themselves like really having like anger towards you and animosity and it's ridiculous really, but people you'd never expect to do that and to just respect you no matter what they have to kind of take that route and it's unfortunate but it will happen they will fall you will rise it just makes no sense why would you not want a baller friend why would you not want someone who's doing well these people don't make sense to me bro like they're backwards thinkers. They're their own worst enemy. They create more enemies that they don't even need to. Chelsea ones create a lot of enemies for no good reason. They can't, no one even knows why they're mad, but they are. We do know why, but at the same time, they can't even, they can't even give their own reason because the fact that we can deal with life and push forward and they can't is enough for them to have animosity and anger towards us. You know that, right? <laughs> yeah. We can make hard things look easy and it's never easy. We just have a different, we have different genes all together, all together. We will do things they will not. There's two things I knew in my own life, and I can't speak for anybody else, but I'll tell you guys something right now. I always knew two things in life. One, the path of life and the path of life that I'm going to take is going to be a hell of a fight. It's going to be a war. Masculine life is war. And I knew. It's gonna be difficult. It's gonna be a war, it's gonna be a fight. Every day is a fight. Number two, I'm gonna win the war. It might be difficult, but I'm going to win the war. It's that mindset, bro. You ain't going nowhere, you ain't going away. You're gonna to have to die to stop. Because as long as you're alive, as long as you're breathing, you're pushing forward. One step closer, one step closer. Every single day that goes by, one step closer. And you do as much as you possibly can. You do all the right things. People ain't ready to sit down and have this kind of a mindset. Everyone's distracted. Everyone's looking for something that has nothing to do with doing anything good in life. And that's exactly why you don't. And if you are that person that does better things for yourself, you're on a self-improvement journey, and you actually get good results because of the work you put in, you don't just fantasize about self-improvement, you legitimately self-improve, bruh, you're gonna have haters. It all started with me whenever I got heavy into fitness. I was already a fit guy to begin with. I was already muscular. I already had a six pack. But I took it to a whole other level, bro. I completely cleaned up my diet and started eating kind of like a bodybuilding diet to build my body, to work twice as hard, 
three times as de determined and dedicated. That's when the hate started, bro. People already envied that I had a naturally good body. And they had the real hate and the real envy come out, bro, whenever I surpass everybody by a, a country mile. And it's not that I'm doing it to surpass everybody else. I could give a shit about anybody else. I'm on my own path. I'm on my own journey. And I'm trying to do the best I can do for me, my family, and everybody involved. And that is how you have to be. And when you're that person, bro, people's gonna go against you for no reason. And uh, real ones will respect you and that's what you want. Who cares about the peasants? Peasants will be peasants. It's funny too when you catch people slipping because you can call them out and they know their own bullshit. Sometimes, bro, I've called out haters before right to their face and everything else and they stopped in their tracks because they knew I was right and they felt stupid. Haters sometimes can't help it, bro. They're programmed to be that way, but when the truth comes out, they can't help it. <laughs> they really can't. You can catch them slipping. They might actually stop hating and realize that they're a big, fat, stinky loser. And they'll stop. And some people won't. Some people will. But I've done it many times. And I think it's pretty funny. Their reaction. You see, most people that give me these looks, they don't want to make it obvious they're hating. But I can tell. And sometimes whenever the odd time of somebody wants to make it pretty obvious, that's whenever I'll step up and I'll call them out for it. And that's when they feel really stupid. It's as if they didn't know that we knew, but we always know. Always. There's levels to light, bro. There are levels to life. There's levels to mindsets. Not everybody wants to give. You have to give to receive. You have to give to your life in order to receive. The reason why people don't do the things they want to do is because they're not given enough. They're just not. You have to give more than you, than, you have to do more than you ever thought you should have. Well, I'll just do enough and do this and do that. I'll just do enough. Just doing enough is not gonna cut it. You have to go overboard. You're gonna have to give a whole hell of a lot more than that. Your whole life has to go into certain things sometimes, bro. Like your entire life. The savage mindset I had when I was 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, even up till now. Completely different than the regular person. I'm far from regular. I'm far from regular and thinking regular. I don't operate the same way. The way I live my life is different, bro. Different. I move different. I think different. I eat different. I walk different. I talk different. I exercise different. Everything I do is different. Everything I do is to a higher degree. And that is where the separation is in form. If you plan on going to the gym with your little buddies, you're gonna lift a few weights and do the same exercises and wait for each other to do sets and all this stuff. When you think you're getting somewhere, you can smack yourself right across the face because you're no different than everybody else. You're no different than everybody else, bro. Gym partner, slow you down. There's levels to this shit, bro. <clears throat> when you're willing to go deeper than everybody else, you'll be gifted much deeper things than everybody else. And it's all about what you want in life. You don't have to do this. This life, this life is not for everybody. You don't have to do this. I'm not telling you do this. I would inform if you want my advice. I would inform you to do this because. It pays dividend, it pays off. So if you want the payoff, if you want to live life on your own terms, 
then you better start to work your ass off and outdo everybody else. You know what everybody else is doing, right? You have to do a, a much more than that. That's the thing. It's not about competing with them. It's just the fact that you're doing much more. What people think they're doing, and they're all relaxed doing it, and I'm going to exercise, and it's going to be fun. Just, I don't ever think that way, bro. Like, things got to get done professionally. You get in, you get out, you're done. You get in, you're, you're out, you're done. In and out, done. In and out, done. The same as the shower, the same as brushing your teeth, the same as going to the gym, the same as your business, the same as anything. You're in and you're out. If you want to put yourself ahead, you have to leave no stones unturned. Leave no doubt. You will not be denied. This is a mindset I had. I was not going to be denied. That's the mindset I had. I won't be denied. I will do what I'm supposed to do in this world. And nothing is going to stop that. You're going to a completely different place than everybody else. This is a point I reached. And when I made those decisions, there's no going back. You're going to do the damn thing. You're going to do a damn good job of it too. Because doing what everybody else does well, once again, it's just not going to get you the W. It's just not. You have to be a lion in this world. Even when you're tired, you got to get shit done. Even when you don't feel your best, you have to get shit done, just like I do. I do what I can, plus more. Even when you're not 100%. remember in your mind what you must do sometimes you have to be your own coach sometimes you have to keep yourself in line and remember what you promised yourself don't let these haters don't let nobody else make you feel bad they will see your progress bro if you have this type of a mindset and you're leaving no stone unturned they might think they're working as hard as you they're not they might see you in certain places and you guys are working and they think they're working as hard as you. They're not. Because as soon as you're done working there, you're going somewhere else to work. And when you're done working there, you're going somewhere else to work. They think, oh, I'm on this guy's level, da 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 You do a little bit of work and you're done for the rest of the day. We'll work and we're off somewhere else doing more work. People don't understand their life. People don't understand the journey. You want to go have you you want to go and have your fun and, and waste time. Be my guest, but that's not going to get you the W. And yeah, you, you can do what you want to do, but don't wonder why someone else got somewhere where you could not. These are people that, that be spawn on your life, and wonder how you get so blessed. Cause they don't they don't see every part of your life. They only see little bits and pieces and think, oh, that's who they are. No. It was much more than that. You just did not see it. They didn't see the sacrifice. They did not see the sacrifice for all the years, all the time, all the hard work. Didn't see it. And they're not willing to go to those waters, to those deep waters. They're not willing to go there. You are. They're not. Boo -hoo. I try to get people to go to the same places I was going to mentally bro people could barely stand uh, people could barely stand a pedal bike for 10 minutes let alone do everything I done and these be the people hating wondering how extreme envy 
looking at you all mad. Oh my God. Oh. They don't understand. They want to be built like you, bro, but hey. They make excuses. Haters. They mad jealous of you, bro. They're watching you, spying on your life. That's why when you see them in person, they're upset. And hey, we're the bad people, right? We're living traditional lives over here. And we're the bad people. Y'all are the freaks. Y'all are the freaks involved in everybody else's business. And we're the bad people, you better mind your own business, pal. It's y'all that are the freaks. It's y'all that are in the matrix. It's y'all that are mad. It's y'all that are the problem. But they want to make us seem like the bad people when, when we're living traditional lives. Like 10,000 damn BC. We out here doing it, bro. Willing to die. Grinding. We'll be doing it until the day we die. We really out here like that. These people want to paint us in a bad light because they are a fraction of the man or woman we are. Whether you're a man or a woman, you might be, you know, it's the crazy thing, the crazy thing is too, these feminists will be hating real women. Trying to convince you that you're doing it the wrong way. Oh my God. These be the most masculine, ass backwards chicks. You're the one that's acting feminine. You're the one that's sweet and submissive and kind and caring to your man. You're the one that has gifted brand new vehicles and are appreciated. These feminists, bro, they're getting pumped and dumped. And they're all mad. Because they can't get their act together. They be the ones that are jealous of the real women. With real men that are getting rewarded for being feminine. This is how it goes. Feminists are fucking losers. <laughs> Legit. <clears throat> but anyways, haters are gonna hate. When you do things the right way in this world, bro, be prepared, because you're gonna be hated. You're probably the most caring, kind, compassionate, more innocent person. You're gonna be the one that's hated. When you got these freaks out there that are doing a million bad things per day. Trying to make you seem like a bad person. Like I said, I said it before. This world is backwards. It's truly evil. Truly good people are deemed as evil nowadays because there's so much evil. And that's why it's that way. And the evil are deemed as good. And the good is deemed as evil. It's backwards. We are living in a backwards world. People do bad things. People are out there at pubs and bars and everything else drinking and all this stuff and whatever. Wildin'. And yeah, they're such good people. Yeah. Look at their eyes. They're black. Yeah, they're such good people. They're so trustworthy too. So trustworthy. So loving and kind and caring, right? So trustworthy. Come on, bro. Get out of here with that bullshit. Dweebs.